For serious YouTubers, save time and money with TubeBuddy, the premier tool used at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. What we have here is one of the most awesome fighting games of all time. And I have so many fond memories of this series. And so what I'm talking about here is actually the whole Samurai Showdown series. And the first one was, in my opinion, a revolution in terms of fighting games. You know, so at this point in time, Street Fighter 2 already dominated the fighting scene. Mortal Kombat was already out. And there were so many other uh, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat clones at this point. And then when Street Fighter 2 kind of like, in my opinion, I would say kind of died down, something else came out that was equally fun, if not more so in some areas, and it introduced something completely new, and that was Samurai Showdown. Now, Samurai Showdown 1, I love that game, okay? No doubt about it. But there was one that was better than that, and there were many other sequels to this series. And out of all of them, Samurai Showdown 2, which is this one right here, is my favorite. You know, out of all of them. For so many reasons. The first is, Samurai Showdown 2 took the formula of Samurai Showdown 1, which was awesome graphics, amazing music, characters that you absolutely loved, and gameplay mechanics, fighting that were second to none. And it retained the weapons, of course. And it was just awesome. They introduced more characters as well, while also retaining the uh, some of the original characters, like Charlotte right here. And out of all the new characters, this character, Genjuro, he was my favorite. You know, he's just, he was just bad. He's just a badass. That's all I could say about that. And when I saw this in the arcades, I already loved Samurai Showdown anyway, so it's just like natural for me to enjoy this, you know. Oh yeah. And they also fixed some things like it says victory now, but on the first Samurai Showdown 6, Vic Toli. So that was kind of funny. And Genjuro, you know, first you might think, oh, another Ken Ryu or Hamaru uh, clone, right? But he's not. He's his own character, different moves, and he's just basically a really hardened, I guess, a samurai, you know, maybe a ronin, you could probably say that as well. Hamaru would be more of a ronin, I guess, so this guy, Genjuro, was just awesome. He's just filled with rage. You could see that scar on his back. So, yeah, he, he, he means business. And a lot of his moves are very similar to Hamaru in terms of the way that you would execute his moves. So, a very similar to a Ken Ryu character, but different. Wow, check that out. And you could string uh, combos and stuff like kind of like what I did there. I wouldn't say that's really a combo, but he just, he's more offensive uh, than any of the other new characters, you know. There's uh, Saiger, who is this uh, big character with, with a huge uh, metal arm. There's Cham Cham, really cute character. She has a boomerang. Um, and there was this old man character as well. Uh, he was cool, I can't remember his name. Um, and I think those were the majority of the new characters. So this is another returning character from the first one. You know, it's a Kabuki type character. He's pretty sweet. Kaioshiro. And some of the things that I adored about the Samurai Showdown series was they kept it really Japanese, you know. And so a lot of times, especially back then, you know, the Japanese culture in terms of, you know, like people loving anime and uh, really anime inspired video games or you know they weren't as popular still back then when in the 90s and stuff when these games came out you know and so a lot of times if a game was too japanese too japanesey i would say i don't know if that's the right word um they didn't really release it in other parts of the world okay especially in the u.s which is the largest market for uh, video games and so a lot of times they would localize the game um, but in this case they didn't do any of that you know, so they they really kept it uh, to its original, which I really appreciate it. And it just made it so much more fun. You know, it just made it distinct once again, especially once again during the whole time that this came out. And even though Street Fighter 2 definitely had Japanese elements, it also had a lot of Westernized stuff too. You know, it was more, 
it was more global friendly let's just say that okay and mortal kombat obviously that was a u.s property and so it was definitely strictly a more westernized type game but in this case this is truly truly for the japanese market first you know and then when it got the reception that it did from samurai showdown one they just kept on it you know they didn't really change that and so i'm glad they didn't do that wow and then you could also do your power-ups as well i i'm not good at this <laughs> with this controller i actually haven't played this and so i used to play this all the time in the arcades and you know like other fighting games it's just so much better if you have an arcade joystick okay it is just simply the best way to play it if you have an arcade joystick and the neo geo arcade joystick was awesome so if you remember the neo geo back then it was an expensive game system even to this day because if you bought the game system the game system itself was like 500 dollars, you know and people you know say oh man the ps4 pro whatever is expensive but you gotta remember back then there were game systems that were like six seven hundred dollars like 3do uh like here the neo geo the neo geo games you know yeah people uh, don't like paying sixty dollars for a game but neo geo games are like two hundred dollars a piece or more so you know and that was back in the 90s so you know it's it was pretty expensive to be a owner of a neo geo okay and i didn't know of anybody who had a neo geo but if they did they were really the coolest kids on the block because the neo geo was arcade perfection because that's what you're buying you're buying a, an arcade machine you're not buying a, a port of an arcade game to a 16-bit game system you know you were buying the actual arcade machine and even after 32-bit systems come out for some reason they just couldn't replicate the arcade identically you know and you would think that they would you know um, except for like the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast has like arcade perfect and better ports, okay? And the Neo Geo was just a sweet system. Uh, I would have loved to have that back then. <laughs> that would be one system that I would really cherish. Because I love arcade games, as you could probably tell by watching any of my videos. That um, They're my favorite type of games. Man, this is another character that I, I played a lot. It's Yukio. Just silent but deadly character you know he, he if you know how to play him you could do some heavy damage so my favorite characters from the first samurai showdown wow there's lots of them you know i don't know i mean it's easy for you to just play hamaru but you could play hanzo you could play yukio um you could play charlotte you know and um you could play the other uh samurai with the with the patch eye patch i can't remember his name and he's in this game too and all of them were really well balanced you know that's what i i like that the SNK did they really tried hard to balance out all these characters and so you could have advantages with one or you know with every character has an advantage but it wasn't so much so that you couldn't beat them you know which is cool like right here you know Yukio I would argue that Kenjuro he's a uh, he's a more lethal character but as you saw there man even though I was about to beat him he took me out you know he just destroyed me at the end Oh yeah, sweet. And this character Yukio, he's a uh, you know in the whole Japanese anime world, he's the he's a pretty boy, you know, um, ladies man, but a pretty boy at the same time, and he's sick. So that's the whole point of this. He's coughing out blood, and he's still coughing out blood in part two. So I guess he's not gonna die anytime soon. Whoa, man, that that's a dangerous uh, that's a dangerous move. If you get caught up in that, you will die quickly. Oh yeah, and I like uh, Genjiro's moves when he like slashes through them because if he gets one slash in, he can do multiple slashes. And uh, obviously, it looks like he's an alcoholic too, <laughs> drinking. Oh yeah, man, you can just play this forever. This man, wow. And I would say Samurai Showdown Two was definitely uh, at a higher uh, difficulty level than Samurai Showdown One. Because you can see here, like even if I take one hit, you know, that really hurts my energy level. Ooh, luckily I got a life up right there. Whoa, yeah. Yes. Uh-oh. Okay, so now he could do a he could do a power move and just take me out. Oh man, he just slapped me. <laughs> Jeez. Uh-oh. Oh man. Wow. Almost had that. Almost had that. Um let me go ahead and give it another shot with a different character. Well done. <laughs> and let me see. Let's go ahead and uh, try a 
a newer character uh, other than Genjuro. Well, nope. Okay, good. The great thing is you can actually choose different characters. Okay, let's go ahead and try uh, Cham Cham. That's a new character. Yes, Cham Cham and her chimpanzee. <laughs> So another thing I appreciated a lot with Samurai Showdown, the whole series, is the level of detail that I have. If you look at the background, there's stuff going on, you know, and this is not something that a lot of the, I would say, Street Fighter clones imitated. And by this point, you know, Samurai Showdown was not a Street Fighter clone. Right? It actually built its own base of followers, you know, so it was its own game by this point, okay? And I absolutely love the fact that they did not, they didn't, like take out any of the things that people loved about it and if anything they just push that even further okay and so if you look here the level of detail is pretty sweet there's always stuff going on in the background then there's the referee right there the ninja referee that's awesome you know and there's my little uh chimpanzee chimpanzee companion right there who's helping me whoa so yeah i don't know okay that's all i need yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's cheap I know but uh, I don't know how to use this character really well <laughs> so uh, so what character does she remind me of in other games I don't know she's she's her own character you know and S and K they really doubled down on having unique characters okay I mean if you look at um, games like Samurai Shodan or Fatal Fury they really made their own name with the uh, with the characters they created they're they're very memorable oh man <laughs> Whoa, you shouldn't slap a girl like that. Oh, come on. Yeah, she's like a wild child. Wow. <laughs> well, boy, that that boomerang weapon that she has, it just takes way too long to uh, to get out there, you know? Like, the, the, your enemy already knows that it's coming. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to try one more time. Because, man, Yukio, man, you're not going to beat me, Yukio. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I got one more round. Awesome. Whoa. God, wow. Take that. Too bad the boomerang doesn't hurt them as well whenever it's coming back. You know, that'd be pretty cool. Now, that move would definitely damage you if you actually uh, get stuck in there. But that's kind of his weakness whenever he does that move. He is vulnerable. Oh, man. Whoa. Okay. Come on. Take that. Wow. God. Okay. I did not make it through that one. All right. Let's try one more time. Well done. All right, Yukio. That's it. I've had enough. Yeah, and of course, two-player matches are awesome. So this is another character that was really fun from the original. Jubei, yeah. Jubei was sweet. He had the double blades. It's a pretty sweet character. All right, let's see if he could take him out. Come on, Yukio. And look at the character mod. I mean, the way they were drawn. And, you know, speaking of which, um, there was definitely a, uh, an anime release for Samurai Showdown as well. And the anime was actually pretty good you know uh and you know unlike you know hollywood movie adaptations of video games the anime adaptations are pretty good you know number one the anime style just look awesome you know but then number two a lot of the actual video games that came out uh, the anime that came out based upon video games they really stayed close to the video games and since they are in an anime form you know they they just did things that are simply not possible with live action and you know it's it's better for it as well oh whoa oh man wow i don't i don't see how i'm not destroying this guy okay hopefully i'll beat him this round now the only thing i don't know if uh later versions of samurai showdown i don't remember if they had like tag team play you know kind of like what king of fighters did that would have been awesome. I think they did have that. I think it was Samurai Showdown 4, I think. And um, later on in the series, you know, Samurai Showdown, it kind of like lost its luster because they didn't really introduce anything new. And I think there even was a uh, Samurai Showdown. Um, there was a 
Samurai Shodown RPG for the Neo Geo CD. Oh man, wow, that's it. And um, I don't even remember if there's a 3D Samurai Shodown. There might have been. Okay, man, I gotta beat Yukio. I just, I can't let this stand. I, I gotta beat him. So who is the best character to beat Yukio? Well, let's do Yukio. Yeah, let's do that. Yes. I'm gonna out Yukio Yukio. And I think the final character or uh, boss on this game is, um, I think it was Amakusa, if I remember correctly. And then Amakusa became a playable character in um, Samurai Showdown 2 and Samurai Showdown 3 as well. Yep. Oh, man. So, Yukio is kind of a unique character in the sense that, oh, man. He's kind of slow but fast, okay? And what I mean by that is he has reach, okay? So, wow. Yeah, the difficulty level is way, way up versus the first one. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. Man, I can't remember any of their moves, so... Oh. oh man and there's this power move right there go back forth in A and B man this game was sweet you know I don't know how well this would have performed um, with actually it probably would have been pretty fun if you had like net play with it as well it'd be cool if they, um, they actually re-released Samurai Shodown or made it like a modern version of it I think people would still dig it okay, well I don't think this Yukio he's not he's not going down with the fight because he's destroying me oh man come on come on oh yeah take that slap yeah I'm gonna go as cheap as I can because I gotta win Yes. Oh man. Oh, so that's it. Oh man, I just got beat. <laughs> so that's it for Samurai Showdown 2. If you had any thoughts on this game or the original Samurai Showdown or any other SNK games, I would love to know. And uh, as always, if you did get value out of these videos, leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.